Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a technique that I saw used by Tammy Hewlett. She is a fellow demonstrator, and she used this technique at a training class that we did a few weeks ago. And I thought it was so fun, and I wanted to share it with you. So, it is a clear embossing technique, and so I'm using this new embossing additions toolkit. So I have an, a little tray that it comes with, an embossing buddy, some really nice tweezers, and a little brush. Okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to clear emboss some images to put on your card. It makes for a really shiny, fun addition to the front of a card. So I'm just going to kind of show you the process of doing that. I have already pre-cut these cute, cute um, images from the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. Um, that's part of the Rustic Harvest suite of products. Okay, so we have these little pumpkins and other fall images that I cut out from the Designer Series paper. I just fussy cut them because I just wanted them right around, um, perfect around the image. And then I already pre-stamped and cut this wishing you the loveliest day um, and I die cut this out. So you'll wanna do that first, get all of your images that are you want on the front of your card. And then I'm going to take our Versamark. This is just a watermark stamp pad and you're just going to Versamark the entire front of this image, the whole thing. And you're gonna do that on all of your images that you're gonna put on this card. So you can see that has Versamark all over it. And I'm gonna put it in my little tray over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing that with all of my images. Just squish them all into the Versamark. Just like that. Okay, so all of my images have been put into Versamark. There's Versamark all over the front of them. Now I'm going to take some clear embossing powder. So make sure you grab your clear and not white or another color because then you'll just ruin your images. And I'm just going to pour that all over my Versamarked images. Just like that. And then using your tweezers, you can come in and pick those up. Make sure that embossing powder is all over them. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to set aside our embossing things and we're going to get our heat tool and heat up our embossing powder here. You'll see that our images will become shiny with the clear embossing powder. I'm gonna use my tweezers to hold these in place. Okay, so now you can see all of these images are embossed with that clear embossing powder and nice and shiny. It's so cute. So we're going to arrange them on this cute piece of designer series paper, also from the Rustic Harvest designer series paper pack. So I'm just going to stick them all in like that. So cute. Let me bring in the finished card and I can show you how that turned out. Wishing you the loveliest day. So cute. Do you see just that extra shine that those images have? It just gives so much interest to that card. 
so pretty. So let me show you a few other ideas that I have made using this technique. Here's another one using that Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. On this one, I clear embossed the entire piece of Designer Series paper. So it makes it almost look more like a plastic sheet than an actual piece of paper. Here's one I made using that Ringed with Nature stamp set that's also in the holiday catalog. So you can see the little mushrooms and leaves have the same clear embossing look. And here is a Christmas one. I did the Believe and all these cute little accessories on there. So fun. This technique is really fun. You can do it on pretty much any card with pretty much any stamp set. I'd love to see any ideas you come up with. If you decide to give this technique a try, make sure to go join our VIP group on Facebook at Stamping Jill, and we would love to see whatever you come up with there. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.